Hi, our lab uses chemical engineering principles in order to engineer appropriate microenvironments, which guide stem cells towards vascular cells. So today I'm going to show you how we culture induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPS cells, in our lab. So iPS cells are pluripotent, which means that they can differentiate into any cell type of the body. However, unlike embryonic stem cells, they're actually induced from skin fibroblasts. So we are able to um, actually provide patient-specific therapies in the long run. So uh, our iPS cells get cultured um, in, a sterile, in a sterile environment. So I've actually just changed the media on these cells, and the media contains all the, all the appropriate nutrients and growth, growth factors which allow the cells to maintain their pluripotency. So I have the iPS cells growing in a six-well dish, and uh, we use a light microscope in order to view a magnified version of what these cells actually look like. So what you can see here are these elongated cells which actually form the feeder layer which provide important signals telling the cells to remain undifferentiated. Uh, the actual iPS cells grow in these tightly clustered colonies which are these glowing round uh, clusters in the center um, and they, they're maintained on, on, this, on top of this feeder layer. So finally the cells get uh, housed in an incubator which maintains a constant temperature and humidity in order for optimal cell growth conditions. So that's a little bit about iPS cell stem, cult uh, stem cell culture. I'm Cervanti Kasuma and I'm a third year PhD student in Sharon Gorek's lab at Johns Hopkins University.